kitchen a little bit I decided I am going to make potato soup for dinner it's a cold day um, definitely fall into the fall season and I love soups and my family particularly loves potato soup so I'm going to clean up a little bit and I will show you how I make potato soup all right watching Fixer Upper and they were doing a bachelor's house and yeah, I totally missed it. I was watching YouTube. What do you know? potatoes um, because it's just quicker I don't have to peel or um, I don't have to peel it I don't have to do any of that stuff and shred it and all that stuff so I got this five pound bag well this is a leftover bag of hash browns I got this five pound bag from grocery outlet I love going to grocery outlet because uh, you can always find awesome deals there and I just dump it into the crock pot, all of it. And that's about a pound. So I just had to check on my dog. He's still back there, chewing on a bone. But um, yeah, so I'm about doing, I'm doing about three pounds because my kids love potato soup. It's something that they're totally, they never complain. I have a pretty big crock pot. It's bigger than, um, what most people have so uh, but I've done about this much in a regular the regular big crock pot I forget what it is because I haven't seen one this big before I want to say it's like a 10 quart isn't it like eight or six eight and, and I want to say this is 10 or 12 and oh my gosh I just made mess so at least it wasn't huge so Basically, I am just going to put all this in there. And I am not a measurer, but I don't measure things out. So you can see this is overflowing, but the first bag of um, hash browns I had, they were broken into chunks and I couldn't break it apart, but that's okay because it's going to break apart anyway. My favorite pampered chef. They probably changed it out. Do probably doesn't look like this anymore, but. So again, I don't measure. So now I'm just going to put enough water to cover it. Now you could use water or you could use chicken broth. Um, I prefer to use water and chicken cubes. Um, again, I'm just not the measuring kind. So I just kind of pour this in here. And eventually, it, you see it coming down because Obviously it was frozen, so now that there's water in it, it is going to go down a little bit and we are, we'll be able to close it up. So I wanna say I put about 16 cups of water in there. We'll just say that, since this goes up to eight cups, but I don't go, I'm, I wasn't looking at the lines, so. And right now I have it on high. Uh, typically you can have it on low for up to eight, six to eight hours. 
high four to six hours it really depends on how you like your soup if you like it chunky or if you like it really smooth um i would prefer it really smooth so i kind of even mash it up and i like i stir it up really good with a whisk just to just have a more smooth um consistency so it's just enough water to cover the top And that's all you want to do. You just want it to be at the top of the potatoes. You can always add more later, but you're actually going to be adding more liquid later anyway. So now I just add some garlic to it. And I like garlic, so if you saw, I kind of put more than what normal people do. And I got pepper in there. And I have some adobo some just a little bit more of that chicken flavor and I'm just gonna use all of it because there is like I don't know maybe a half of a tablespoon in there so and then that is trash and typically I would so I have these um, chicken bouillon cubes if it'll focus there you go so I only have five, so I am actually going to go out and buy some more of these. Um, but normally, I put about 10 to 12 cubes in this particular size of soup that I um, am making. And sometimes I put a little bit more of that, that Goya, but it really, it'll bring back, it'll bring in the flavors later. And I, that's when I'll taste it a little bit more when it's more cooked because it is sitting in there a while but you know with the cubes it's one cup per cube so if I just put about 16 cups of uh, of water in there then of course I'm going to need at least 16 cubes but I don't do all 16 like I said I do 10 to 12 and then I put some of that adobo seasoning in there and um, some garlic, pepper. Uh, I don't really use salt. Um, if anything, I'll taste it later to see if I wanna put some salt in it, but typically I don't. Because uh, once this is done, um, we are going to be um, putting heavy cream in it to give it that more smooth texture. And, and then we, I don't know, I like to put, I like to load mine up with um, green onions, sour cream, cheese, and some bacon. So, it's gonna have that saltiness from the bacon, it's gonna have it from the cheese, but you're just gonna wanna get the right flavor. And you know, um, my boys, this is one of their favorite meals, and I love when they bring friends home and they come and you know, they have dinner with us or whatever, and, um, it becomes one of their favorite meals but I hope they their mom still makes them this potato soup because she asked me for the recipe one day because her boys really enjoyed it and couldn't stop talking about Miss May's potato soup was so good and I love hearing stuff like that because I I love to feed people and I love to I love to feed my my kids and their friends honestly um, Sometimes I can't afford it because boy, children can eat and boys can eat. I have this on high right now um, because it's 1041. Let, I mean, I can probably put it on low and still be okay, but right now I'm just going to keep it on high and see what it does. You know, I don't know if I want to eat earlier or sometimes when I make soup, we just kind of eat through the night. So like it'll start from after school and then we'll just eat a couple bowls until dinner time and then we'll be full because you can't just have one bowl of my potato soup, trust me. So anyway, um, if you wanna know the recipe, let me know and I'll, um, I'll try to have it more detailed in the, in the description box, but you know, I'm not, too good at measuring because I just kind of throw everything together. Everything I cook, I throw everything together. Um, first time recipes, I'll kind of read it, but I still don't really measure anyway. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later and keep you guys updated on anything else that we're doing today. 
So, Hiana is dragging me out the house. You better not make me um, drop my phone. Don't bump. <laughs> you know, that's why you put on tight. Just so, on I'm holding it tight. Do you know what that means? You know, remember that time you like dropped your information <laughs> out the window? <laughs> because you weren't holding on tight. <laughs> Driving way too fast. Uh, yeah, we were going 70 down the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> it just <simple. laughs> I was like, Oops. <laughs> All my information. Is she on was there. really worried, but Good. today she started vlogging. So I hope this video is going to be up by next week. So subscribe to Nani's World. Subscribe to Nani's World. I will put a link up in the description box. And yeah, so she's been on all of my videos. No, you guys just get ready for extraness. So extra. you guys will love her channel because she is extra. <laughs> okay, we'll update you when we get to where we're going. So, you know, we just had to do it. Just had to do it. We are now on our way to Walmart to get the rest of the ingredients for the potato soup. I gotta get some heavy cream and some bacon and some sour cream. I can't wait to eat it. It's a cold, windy day. It's perfect soup weather. Alright, keep you updated when we get to Walmart. What y'all know about that dog? About what y'all know about that dog? I don't know nothing about that dog. Shows my age, but it's alright because I feel like these days it really is. They used to say it was a bunch of mumble rap, but no. People actually mumble rap these days. But we're not gonna get into that right now. I always hit photo. I always take a picture of us before I actually hit video. But it is cold and windy out here today as we walk into Walmart. I think we come to Walmart every single day. Do you think so? I think we do too. I wasn't here yesterday because I did not leave my house yesterday. And sometimes you just have to have those days where you don't leave the house. <clears throat> okay, can we grab some green? They're not that pretty. I don't like when they're not that pretty. I like Walmart usually has some that's pre-packaged, but today they don't. Can you get me a bag, please? I only have one hand, so I need help. <laughs> Open sesame. Salamat book. Salamat book. Oh boy, like my back is starting to hurt. <laughs> Her back forever hurting every time we come into a store. Okay. Should we grab a cart? Huh? Okay, here. Go grab a cart. <laughs> I'll walk with you, but I'm going to hold this stuff and you grab the cart. Do I want this? Swiss cheese. Yeah. She's going to get some salad because she's hungry. So we're going to go get a cart because we're going to think about it. I'm following her, but I should not follow her out the door because I don't want somebody to tackle me because I'm not trying to steal the salad. Which one looks better? That one looks 
looks more fresh than that one. So let's see. Yeah, this looks better. better so we're gonna get you this one because it looks better than the other one it had more green in it so <laughs> I mean you don't have to do all that but are you gonna push the cart touch I guess we don't have to have it in the cart for me. where are we going she's going so fast <laughs> I don't know if she knows where we're going I don't now you're gonna see my double chin, my band. <laughs> it's not the best angle, but we're gonna get some biking. I must have bacon with my potato soup. I'm just saying. That's just how I feel about that. Okay, now we need some sour cream. Do we need milk? You guys are the only one that eats cereal and use the milk, so. I bought milk yesterday. Oh, okay. I don't use milk or I don't drink milk. I also don't eat cereal, so I never know if there's any at home. Okay. Sour cream, sour cream. And are you getting some cookies? gonna bake some cookies. Maybe she should vlog that. People at Walmart. She's in cow pajamas. Was she a cow? I don't know. Cow. Moo. Cow. Oh wow, we're mooing on camera. So, as I'm waiting for my change to come out after I paid, I realize I forgot heavy cream and I need that for my soup. So, that's what I'm doing right now is getting that. Great. Got everything I needed. Forgot the bouillons and the heavy cream, but I got it all. Now we're headed back to the house. I'm gonna put everything in the crock pot and see how the soup's going. I'll let you guys see it when I get there. Okay, so it's kind of dark when it's this way, but. So, just take my whisk and 
I whisk it up just to make it a little smoother, but I don't need it like all the way smooth. I have taken my blender to it and like really smoothed it out, but I ended up adding eight more bouillons because I wasn't paying attention. So now I am going to add heavy cream to it. So, go ahead and put half of this. Then it makes it this, the creamy color. So I think this is my favorite, um, filter on snapchat but once again i didn't make a closing um for my last video so the video that you just watched about potato soup and walmart and all that good stuff so let me know if you want to see more recipes or more um cooking with me um type um yeah whatever i'm trying to say anyway yeah don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and i will see you at my next video